Okay, welcome to part two of our tutorial. So far we've designed and modeled our car, but our car is missing a couple key features, mostly the windows. So let's take a look at the side of the car and we'll draw the front and back windows. I click, I start a new 2D sketch, and I can start drawing on this face here. I'll take the art tool again. I've got quite a fill in there. I can cut right into that fillet though, that's fine. There's the top of my window. Remember that green dot? Super important that you remember that green dot. The green dot just makes sure that we've got a closed loop. We don't always have these curves. You can use straight lines here. Just remember green dot, green dot. And use another straight line for my back window. If you want to use curves, you can use curves. If you want to make these perfectly round, make them perfectly round. It is your car, not mine. And there's my rear window. Now if you look, I made a big mistake here. I forgot to put my green dots in. So what I'm going to do is just grab that line tool and connect that one to that one. Oop, that wasn't a line tool. Try that again. Line, connect, green dot, do green dot. There we go. Looks a little funny. If I hit the escape key, I can play with this window too and just make it exactly what I want. Don't know why everything's moving. There we go. There's my two windows. Click finish sketch. And I can extrude these now. So I click my extrude tool. I click the windows. By default, again, it always wants to create, not destroy. <laughs> so let's um, set it to cut. And again, we're going to set the distance here to through all, because we want to cut through the entire car. Click the check mark. And you can see we've cut through with those windows. The next step is to create the front and the rear windows of the car. To do that, we need to create some new work planes. So for a reference, let's take a look at the origin under the model panel. Click on the plus there, and you can see a series of work planes. The YZ work plane, the XZ work plane, the, and the XY plane. So we're going to go up here, click on that, right click, and make it visible. So now I can see it as part of my project. I want to draw up here though, not back there. So I'm going to use the plane tool again to create a new plane. Click on that, bring it forward to the front of the car and click the check mark. So now I've got a plane where I can draw the front windscreen and a plane where I can draw the rear one. Create a new sketch on that plane. Now it default, it wants to move to the side. We can just rotate that back. Just remember that we did rotate that. Now I need a little bit of reference because I've got no reference lines on this drawing. So I'm gonna use the project geometry tool again and project a line at the top of the car. So that's just a reference. I know that that's a centered line. I can work with that. I'll use the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw on my windscreen. Now I haven't made this centered. I haven't measured it out. It's just a rectangle. But what I'm going to do is apply some constraints. Now I know that I rotated this. So this is horizontal. This is vertical. We're going to pick the horizontal constraint and I'm going to mouse over to get that green dot there. And I'm going to mouse over and get the green dot here. Those are the two center points. What that did is it made these two horizontal with each other. I know that it looks vertical, but it's because I rotated it. If I didn't rotate it, I could use the vertical constraint and do the same thing. I'm going to go finish sketch, and I'm going to extrude that windscreen out. Again, set it to cut. And this time, just set your distance so it's into the car. It doesn't have to go right through. If you want to cut both windscreens at the same time, you can. Um, but for this case, I'm just going to do the front, 10, check mark, and you can see I've cut that front windscreen out. Now the back windscreen, I can start a sketch on there. Now it, again, rotates a little funny, but you can just rotate back to the way you want it. Draw our geometry for that back windscreen. Now we don't have to use rectangle. You could use curves again. So 
surface a curve. I'm going to project some geometry again like I did before. I know that I rotated center point, center point. That just keeps them aligned. Big hatchback, so big window. There we go. Finish that sketch and I can extrude this out. Again, set it to cut. Make sure your direction is into the car. And set your distance so it's, it's cutting in but not all the way through. Check. Now I've got these two work planes, so I'm just going to right click, turn off the visibility. Come down here. Where's our other one? Right click and turn off the visibility. So you can see I've got my car drawn up there. Now you can go, if you really wanted, add some fillets in here, but this is going to be so small and we 3D print it, it's not going to make much of an effect. You could do a sunroof. Again, same method as the front and back windscreens. So for this model, I'm going to prepare this right now for printing. I'm going to go to the eye up here in the corner to export CAD format. And that's going to take its time. Bring up the save as window, but here it gives me a save as type. Most 3D printing software likes STL files now. Is it going to show up on the screen? So I select STL file, and that allows me to save the part as an STL. Now, big part, by default, the units, I've already done it here, but the units show up as centimeters. If you do that, you'll have to scale your model before you go to print. So I'm going to change it to millimeters. So just check, make sure it's millimeters. Click OK. So I know that it's going to be in mils. And give it a name that you'll remember. Now I'm just going to call this tutorial one. And I'm saving it to my desktop. I'll remember it's there. Save. Done. I'm also just going to save the car regularly. So save. Saved it as tutorial part one. You go save as, change the name. It's always good to save throughout a project. Okay, that's going to be the end of part two.